Sparta, Magazine Land USA. They're proud of their magazines, and they make uh, make no uh, qualms about it. They uh, are also quite proud of their comic books. Very proud, in fact. Magazine Land, the World Color Press Day, took place on June 18, 1977. And uh, Sparta itself is a rather small town. I don't, I don't know if all of these decorations were done especially for that day, but they looked like they might, might be permanent fixtures there. I suppose a lot of people in town work at the plant. It's probably uh, a town that's almost entirely supported by the plant. The high school auditorium had a nice big display of comic books and how they produced comic books. And you may recognize one familiar face. Uh, we'll get down there to talk to him a little later. This high school gym had quite a nice display, it really did. Yep, that's Phil Seuling. In from New York, talking with our very own Murray Bischoff. Well, I hi there. Talk about the way the people uh, abuse the material. Abuse the material? Yeah, it's just uh, interesting. I guess they're not collectors. They have no respect for uh, uh, material that belongs to somebody else. And they're grabbing it, ripping the pages, fingerprinting, bending the books, and uh, throwing the books wherever they happen to be standing. And it's, yeah. After visiting the gym, which was about noon during that day, we went on over to the press itself, which, uh, or the plant itself, I should say, which covers, I don't know how many acres and acres and acres, but uh, the line that day lasted acres and acres and acres, and we must have waited in line at least three hours. We were way at the end. See us? Way down there? No. <laughs> no, we, we were uh, awfully hot. It must have been a 95 degree day. Luckily, they had a little lemonade stand set up nearby. They were giving out free samples of uh, a lot of their comic books that day. Looked funny to see a lot of old ladies running around with Superman and Batman comic books. Well, this is the plant itself. My camera works kind of quick because the tour was kind of quick. Um, so you'll have to look close. Everywhere you look, there were presses, and paper and paper and more paper and magazines and, and pressmen. It was really incredible, the number of of machine and magazines under one roof. They had uh, stacks and stacks of uh, printed magazines around, and the man said something which I thought was kind of impressive. He said that every bit of paper you see printed there will be gone by tomorrow and totally replaced by, by something new. That's just mind-boggling. The plant works 24 hours a day. I guess it's never closed. Uh, three or four different shifts. Look at the stacks of those <laughs> paper rolls. It's incredible. That's right, he said three and a half million dollars worth of paper. That is a lot of paper. This room here is where they do their small printing jobs, mainly the uh, few thousand copy orders. Well, 
Remember, everything you see there will be gone by tomorrow. I believe this is the start of the comic books that are stacked up inside of the comics. You can also see the stacks of uh, mailbags. They're a big mailer. They do a, a lot of the mailing for the publishers as well as the printing. Big railroad cars come in and just load up. All these uh, piles of paper are inside the comic books now. This happens to be the, uh, the folding, the collating, and the stapling department, and I suppose the, the trimming and packaging department as well. It's a huge operation. The stapling machines are pretty much automatic. You'll see some of them in a minute. There they are. One funny thing they told us, they showed us the uh, adult magazine department, uh, the men's and uh, <laughs> uh, magazine department, and it's behind, uh, it's behind a cage, and there's a guard at the front. So I guess the employees can't go in and, and inspect the stuff on their own. some more stacks of the insides of comic books. There's a lot there. The covers, however, are printed separately from the comics, of course. They're printed on a, on a, a lithograph press, and you'll see stacks and stacks of covers yet to be cut apart. There they are. It's funny to see DC and Marvel and all the other you know, comic covers printed right alongside each other, and they're cut apart and put together later. It's capable of running about... Uh... 40,032 page comic books per hour. It uses a core of paper, 54 and a half inches, 2,000 pounds. Three roll. This is the room where the comic books are photographed and prepared uh, for publication. They're handling the negatives there. And in these boxes, uh, you see the plates that go on the press to print the comic books. A lot of plates because uh, a lot of different colors.
And that ends our tour of World Color, World Color Press, and uh, now we're heading on home, the seven-hour drive back to Moline and Rock Island.